What is up, Flock Phoenix out here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlight. And I'm sorry, can we just for a, mo <laughs> a moment look at the size comparison between you two? Anyway, welcome back to the little Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods, give you guys my thoughts and opinions, and leave them linked down in the description down below so you two can go download them if you are interested. Now, let's go ahead and hop right into this uh, because I am getting crap frame so let's go ahead and try to thin out this herd here real quick by starting off with the truck that we had not last week but the week before that we didn't get to and I told you guys last week the post Christmas thing is going to be crazy so we're playing catch up so let's go ahead and modify this Dodge which kind of wish it had a regular bed to it because this thing is pretty nice actually I don't know if it would look this good with a regular bed on it this dump bed is Noise. All right. Anyway, twelve Val Cummins, twenty-four Val Swap. Let's do a swap. Strobe lights, friend only, dump only, both. Yeah. Excuse me. Both. Not gonna do a plow mount. Uh, sides. Uh, we'll do with sides. Strobe light bar. Yes. Yep. Logo. CHS logo again. Remove tailgate for salter. We're not going to worry about that. Main color. Um. Yeah, I feel like a red would look good. Yeah. Design color. Yeah. Customize. Yeah, alright. There we go. Look at that thing. I kind of wish... This is the buy style Dodge that I really wish we had. Like, the one that has all the options to it. I think that would be awesome. Uh, we need that, but yeah, let, without further ado, let's check this thing out. Interior, oh, so beautiful. Like, why can't, why couldn't we get a regular bed? Whoever did this mod, if you have a regular bed for this pickup, please, please do it. Okay. That's my bad. That was my fault. That was 100% my fault. Let's get down the road here a little bit. How smexy is the looks. Turns a little weird. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that's right, we have the uh, upgraded engine. I was like, it says it's only supposed to do 62, and we're doing 75 right now. But we did put the 24 valve in it over the. Uh, 12 out. Ugh. This thing does not turn right. Of course, I was doing 75 miles per hour and trying to do a 90 degree turn. Oh, that. Oh my god, yes. I didn't even see this thing hooked to a trailer. That's my bad. Here, let's get back over here. Horn. Okay. Could have done without that one. Could have done without that one. This thing's so nice. I don't think that wheel is accurate. At all. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't think the interior is all that accurate. Feel free to let me know if I'm wrong. We're back in the crappy frames. Something tells me it's those uh, Chevys. As much as uh, the guy does such a good job, those things suck on frame. All right, that works. I'm just double checking. Oh wait, all right. Turn our beacons off. Pull this up in the driveway. Alright. So light. Stage one. Stage one. Stage two. Stage three. Stage one is just like the halos, I guess. And running lights, stage two headlights, stage three high beams, 
just don't see any difference. We have blinkers, as we do, reverse lights, brake lights, horn. I already touched the horn, and then of course beacons. I'm gonna think five out of five. I do like it. The only thing I really wish is that we had a regular bed option, like a single rear wheel dually. That'd be awesome. Because I, I don't really see, other than the interior being a little inaccurate, I don't think, does this thing have power windows? I, my buddies had roll-up windows, so, like the, the crank windows, so I don't know. I feel like the dashboard is correct to his, but I, I'm not so certain about the doors. It's been a while since I, I was in his truck, so I don't know. But I would love to see a regular bed option of this. With you know, like you can choose a single rear wheel, dually, all that. Because I, I would drive the hell out of this truck. Love it. Buy a five. Um. Oh, my other complaint is the steering. The steering's a bit weird. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it's a bit wonky. So let's move on. Let's go ahead and try out these Chevys. Cause I feel like that's what's killing my frames. Is that of the Fords? Gonna be the Duramax. Oh, this is the Vortec. Wait, they're both Vortec? One moment, please. They're both Vortec. Okay, so you can get Vortec on both. Unless it's just the engine sound. Uh, stock rear wheel dually. Put the ranch hand on it. Uh, I'll just do it. CB radio, step options. Plow, no plow mount. Trim high country. No, we don't want the hell high country. We'll do the Z71 though. Cab paint. I feel like a dark blue looks good in the dash options. Oh. Yeah, no, we want leather black seat options. Cloth black. Bumper options. Yep. Yeah. Alright, customize, yes. Now this thing does come with a regular bed here, but it also does work with the Ford uh, from Rental Man. He the one that he put out the extended cab Ford, I think it's like a twenty seventeen. So that's what we're gonna be using on this one. Dually. Do a single rear wheel for the other one. Let me put it this way. It said that it worked with it. Okay. And of course, I put the other mod back in so I can't lift heavy things. There we go. It looks like it fits. Nah, it doesn't really. I mean, it works, but it's kind of like a, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, of course, we don't have hitches on this thing. On the bed. This truck sounds mean. Interior is great. God, it sounds like. If this thing come blowing past you at 80 miles per hour, you'd like pull over and piss yourself because it sounds so mean. Skirt. Alright, 
Do we have stage one, stage two, stage three? How does that make any sense? All right, we have blinkers. How how we unfold the mirrors? Okay. There's just no way to unfold the mirrors. Alright. Move on to the other one. Okay, so this is the gasser. We're just gonna hook it right to the bed. Yeah, see there's no way to unfold these mirrors. So good. Ranch hand. Oh, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. No, we'll do high country on this one. Yeah. Customize. Yes. Customize bed. We made a dually. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, now 4x4 four four plus high country. Tatchers, we'll do pedal and gooseneck. Make that black. Make that chrome. Customize, yes. All hot diggity dang. That hooks. Unhooks. <laughs> Good. Unhooks. Lights. Nice horn. Yeah, all the lights are going to be the same. Only difference between two is one's got the diesel engine, one's got the gas engine sound. My pinky is falling asleep here. So, don't get why we can't unfold the mirrors. I mean, they have blinkers on them, but yet we can't unfold them. I'm gonna give them a four out of five because of the bl the mirrors. The, the mirrors not unfolding really bugs the living daylights out of me, and the fact that you can get I guess it's just just the engine sounds um, are different. The fact that you can get the gas engine on this one and this one confuses me. Why would you need two options? Um, again, only thing I can think of is the actual engine sounds different. Um, so that the beds it, it comes with like it comes with the beds but this doesn't really fit it, I mean it, it fits but it doesn't really look all that great in my opinion um, I would love to see an actual bed that's like fit it to it if it makes any sense so we'll give them a four out of five they look really really good um, but I don't know, just the, 
fact that you can't unfold the freaking mirrors just bugs the little daylights out of me. So it appears that it might be these Fords instead of those. Sh well, I mean, those Chevys dropped us down to 40, and this just dropped us down to 40. So I'm going to guess there's a combination of the two. Ooh. Alright, so we have the. We have a V6. I think this is the V6, and this is the V8. Okay, yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. Alright, so let's customize them. 2.7 EcoBoost V6. 3.5 EcoBoost. Let's do the 3.5. Goodyear. I will do Goodyear. We also set up 18 inch Lariat. Lariat 2. King Ranch. Ooh, I like the King Ranch 2s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lariat, no decal. Lariat 4x4. King Ranch, no decal. No, we want. Want the King Ranch. F by four. Uh, shifter plus wood column console. Uh, we'll do column mud flaps. Sure. Nah, we won't do it. Steps. Do the folding. I like the folding. I think those are cool. They probably break a lot, right? Cab extras, bug shield. Yeah. Ranch hand. Just use bug shield. Bumper options, chrome colored. I like the chrome. Attachers, none. Gooseneck. Do two inch drop in gooseneck. Plate. Game plate. Oh, Nebraska. Farm. Okay, none. Factory tailgate. Tailgate. Delete. Fifth wheel gate. Alright, we'll do the factory tailgate. Body color. You guys already know for a Ford. I like this color right here. Yo, it looks so good. It looks so good. Interior color. Do the King Ranch. Yeah, customize. Alright. Love those factory folding steps. It's so nice. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's real nice. Alright, that works. Fast, holy crap. It does have a diesel engine sound though. Oh Lights. When you get in, you automatically have the daytime running lamps. Headlight, stage one. High beam, stage two. Fog light, stage three. We have blinkers in the back. We have blinkers in the 
front. We have reverse lights. We have brake lights. Horn. Not bad. All right. I'm not even going to go too much into it because uh, I'm pretty sure everything's the same. Just the engine options are different. It looks like we have all the same options. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It does look really, really good. Um, it is a bit on the smaller side compared to the other trucks we had today. I don't know what it's like. Here, let's, um, let's do... Let's do let's do the Ford we have in the server. Here we go. This is just a test. I feel like it's on par. I mean, it's a li it looks a little bit smaller. Um, this does have a short bed on it, so keep that in mind. But it looks a little bit smaller, so I feel like it's on par with the one we used in the server. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we'll give it a 5 out of 5. All, everything works on it. Uh, the little detail of having... Wait a minute. That actually... Okay, that's cool. Uh, the fact that that slides open just uh, that that just uh, tickles me in all the right spots because <laughs> uh, most of them just have it open and if you want it closed you can close it which I find cool so we'll give it a five out of five let's move on to our last one here is this Dodge Power Wagon <laughs> let's go ahead and customize this or excuse me Ram Power Wagon not Dodge uh, we can get a 6.4 liter Hemi stock, Hemi with tuner, beast mode, <laughs> Brock Lesnar beast mode, you already know, 33 inch Ram Power Wagon, 35 inch, 35 inch SF03, I don't know what SF stands for, San Francisco, uh, something forged, specialty forged, okay, fuel, give me fuel, give me five, that was a desire, American Force, 37 inch ram. Why do you need wheels that big? 40 inch. Oh, off road only? Oh, y'all, dude. 50 inch. Oh, y'all. Well, we got a monster truck. Oh, Power Wagon ram stock. Too. Oh, wow. You can make it stock, too. That's nice. Uh, we want stock. Steps. <laughs> yes. You see how high this thing is, bro? Electric stuff, yep. Grill guard, <laughs> yes. Ranch hand, bed options, not topper. <gasps> yes. All hitches. Yes. Factory color. Yes. Bumper accessories. Yeah, let's make it, uh, yeah, grill color. Yas. 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 This looks like, you guys remember the, the, the toy trucks where you'd like pull them back and they'd crank and then you let it go and it would take off the, and then click, you're like, and then you let it go and it takes off. That's what this reminds me of right now. Alright. <laughs> yes! Looks like something PJs would drive. Paige is like, I need to get me a truck. I just need a ridiculous one. There we go. Let go. All right, there we go. Ho ho. It says it does 139. We're going to test that out. Let's go.
Okay, that was louder than I thought it would be. Why would you pull out in front of a monster truck? There it went. Mailbox. Another one. Alright, doing 140. Whee! Oh, there it went. Oh, there she landed it, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. Stage one, we have running lights. Stage two, headlights. Stage three, high beams. Stage four, fog lights. Stage five, interior light and reverse light. All right. That's pretty nice. All right. That looks really good on the inside. Uh, blinkers, we have blinkers all the way around, reverse lights, brake lights, horn, train horn, alright. Oddly, I'll give a 5 out of 5. It does look good. I don't have really any complaints other than the ridiculous size wheels on it. I mean, <laughs> tweets are own, but yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit ridiculous, but it does look really good, and like I said, everything works, so... 5 out of 5, and that is going to do it for today's Mod Spotlight, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's Mod Spotlight, be sure to leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much, and I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to know if I whenever do go live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!